Our previous lesson in linguistics is phonetics. Today we discuss phonology, but before we go there, let us have some refreshers in phonetics first. You learned about the sounds of English, what phonetics is, that phonetics is the study of English sounds, and we have acoustic phonetics, which focuses on the physical properties of the sounds of language, and we have auditory phonetics, which focuses on how listeners perceive the sounds of language, and articulatory phonetics, which focuses on how the vocal tract produces the sounds of language. You also learned about the phonetic alphabet, particularly the International Phonetic Alphabet or the IPA, which was invented in order to have a system in which there was a one-to-one -one correspondence between each sound in language and each phonetic symbol. Well, that is phonetics. How about phonology? The study of how speech sounds form patterns is called phonology. Phonology tells us what sounds are in a language, how they do and can combine into words, and explains why certain phonetic features are important to identifying a word. Phonology also refers to the sound structure of speech and to the perception, representation, and production of speech sounds. Let us see the difference between phonetics and phonology. Phonology is the basis of further work in morphology, syntax, discourse, and orthography design, while phonetics is the basis of phonological analysis. Phonology analyzes the sound patterns of a particular language by determining which phonetic sound are significant and explaining how these sounds are interpreted by the native speaker while phonetics analyzes the production of all human speech sounds, regardless of language. Phonology is the study of how sounds are organized and used in a natural language, while phonetics is the study of human speech sounds. Phonology points out the phonological system of language, which includes an inventory of sounds and their features, and pragmatic rules which specify how sounds interact with each other while phonetic studies which sounds are present in a language. As what mentioned a while back, phonology is the study of how speech sounds form pattern. Speech sounds can be classified as either consonants or vowels. Consonants when the air does not flow freely and vowels when the air flows freely to create different sounds. Let's try this. Put your fingers in front of your throat. Say the sounds v and do you notice the difference? How about with these combinations? What is the difference in each of those combinations? Phonology serves as the underlying design for all the variations in different physical articulations of a sound type in different contexts. We think of the sound t in the following words. Tar, star, rider, eighth. What we mean is that in phonology of English, they are all represented in the same way, but physically they are all different. We'll understand more on that as we go on with the discussion. Plurals. Sometimes certain morphemes are pronounced differently depending on their context. For example, the English plural morpheme has three different pronunciations depending on what noun you attach it to. Like when the S attached to some words in English sound as Z. Like in these words, cabs, bags, bars. While the letter S can also be sounded as S. Like in the following words, caps, backs, face. Or the ES is sounded as Z like in these words. 
buses, garages, matches. In phonology, we have this what we call minimal pairs. Minimal pairs are pairs of words or phrases in a particular language which differ in only one phonological element such as phone, phoneme, and have distinct meanings. They are used to demonstrate that two phones constitute two separate phonemes in the language. Minimal pairs are two words with different meanings that are identical except for the sound that occurs in the same place in each word. Minimal pairs whose members take different forms of the plural allomorph are particularly helpful for our purposes. For example, cab and cat. They differ only in their final sound, so since each word takes a different allomorph, we can assume that the allomorph is selected based on the final sound of the noun. Therefore, cab, cabs, cap, caps, bid and bit, bids and bits, laugh and love, laughs and loves. Here are more examples of minimal pairs with s and z sound. Log and lock. Logs and locks. Wig and wick. Wigs and wicks. Snag and snack. Snags and snacks. Girl and curl. Girls and curls, stag and stack, stags and stacks, guard and card, guards and cards. Since we are looking only at the final sound of each noun, we can make the following summary by studying the allomorph environment. So the S sounds Z after the sounds Mm. 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 R. A. Oi. And s after the sounds p, t, k, f, f. and is after s. Plural nouns ending es sound is in the following words: masses, blouses, matches, sashes, lashes. In linguistics, a phoneme is the smallest sound unit in a language that is capable of conveying a distinct meaning, such as the s in sing and the er in ring. What is considered to be the central concept of phonology is phonemes. Let's study this example. Kit. Although the two k sounds in kit are not identical, the first is pronounced with more aspiration than the second. They are heard as two instances of k. Since phonemes are categories rather than actual sounds, they are not tangible things, instead they are abstract. Theoretical types or groups that are only psychologically real. In other words, we cannot hear phonemes but we assume they exist because of how the sounds in language pattern as they are used by speakers. The most important property of a phoneme is that it contrasts with the other phonemes in the system. And hence, we can only speak of the phoneme of some particular speech variety, a particular accent, of a particular language. Languages differ in the number of phonemes they distinguish, but every valid word in every language necessarily consists of some permissible sequence of that language's phonemes. Phoneme is the smallest unit of sounds that distinguish one word from another in a particular language. 
a phoneme may have more than one variant called allophones. Phonemes are based on spoken language and may be recorded with special symbols such as IPA or International Phonetic Alphabet. These are vowel nasalization in English as an illustration of allophones. Vowels become nasalized when it is followed by nasals. For example, those sounds in blue are oral vowels, those sounds in violet are non-nasal consonants, and those that are in green are nasalized vowels, and those that are in orange are nasal consonants. Let's try the first one. B. Bid. Bin. The second one, lay. Lace. Lame. The third one, ba, bad, ban. So I have your examples of words differing only in their vowels. We have beat, bit, bait, bet, bat, bite, boot, bot, boat, bot, bout, bat. Two of these words form a minimal pair, two different words that differ in one sound. The two sounds that cause the word difference belong to different phonemes. Let's try the allophones of T. But what is an allophone? Allophone is a phonetic variant of a phoneme. Like in the phoneme T, we have the aspirated T and the unspirated T and the flapper. The aspirated t occurs at the beginning of a word stressed syllable, as in the word tick. The unaspirated t occurs directly before or after s, like in the word stick. And the flapper occurs between a stressed vowel and an unstressed vowel, like in the word bitter. You see, that's the allophone of T. Phonology Part 2 will cover the following topics. Distinctive features of phonemes, the rules of phonology. Phonology Part 3 will cover the following topics. Prosodic phonology and phonological analysis. Hit the notification bell so you will get updated once the videos are uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!